We're going live. We're live. We're on the air. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Saturday edition of Live with Traveling with Bruce. Uh, today is March the the 3rd already. Yeah, the day today, it will already be 10% of the way through March, practically. I mean, <laughs> time flies. I think it's a little too fast. Anyway, it uh, gets faster the older you get, don't you think? How you guys doing? Uh, welcome to the travel. Welcome to today's show. Um, just uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, looking out here in my window, and it's kind of a so-so day. We, we're not yucky like we were the last couple of days. We, <laughs> I think we're better than that. The sun is actually trying to peer through some of our clouds. I've actually seen little tiny slivers of blue sky kind of popping up between moving clouds. And uh, we're like 34 degrees, so it's melty, and it's, it's at that kind of cold, clammy feeling, but it, it, it has the potential. If the sun could just get through for like 10 minutes, we'd warm up to 40 real quick, um, but uh, just not, not quite happening. But uh, I'm all excited. I'm on a road trip tomorrow. I'm going for a trip tomorrow to uh, Idaho, going all the way to Coeur d'Alene, two hours, 20 minutes, heading for the Costco. Got to do some Costco shopping tomorrow and uh, pick up a few more provisions, you know, get through those long, hard winters here in Canada, <laughs> pick up some deals in Costco. <laughs> Listen, if any of you down there, come on down for a meet and greet. We'll say hi. I'll be great. Um, what's been going on? This week's been a busy week for, for me and I'm sure for all of you folks. Uh, I did a live stream every day, Monday to Friday this week, including uh, two shows on Tuesday and two on Thursday. I want to thank all you folks who came out and saw all the shows, caught up with me in my primetime episodes. I'll be doing it again next week, uh, Monday to Friday, including Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so 5 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll put on six more shows, uh, seven more shows during the week, and then next Saturday, 2 o'clock. Uh, lots to talk about in the cruise game, as always. And, uh, you know, and lots of questions coming in, lots of comments coming in from you guys. A lot of new viewers are still discovering my channel. As a matter of fact, they're always discovering my channel. It just it just blows me away. My number one video, the number one video I have, uh, I shot uh, October the 10th. That's when I put it together. And it was a how-to video. Uh, uh, top, top 10 tips for new cruisers. You know, a how-to video. Uh, at the time, um, <clears throat> the video, uh, when I released it, uh, the, you know, posted, uploaded it on my YouTube channel, it, it it had a few views right away, uh, you know, like they usually do. They kind of start with a little bit of a bang, and then they kind of settle in. Uh, and this video, uh, for a good two or three weeks, uh, wasn't doing very much. Uh, it was just kind of plotting along. Uh, I think it was generating something like, uh, you know, 10, 15 views a day, maybe, something like that. Nothing much. And then uh, something happened. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was, but I'm constantly working on my videos, even the ones that I've made. To, to, to maybe adjust the wording of the titling from time to time, just get the right wording or uh, produce a better looking thumbnail so that, you know, it'll attract the, the, the eye of the beholder, you know? Um, and so I made some adjustments to that. And then I, I was suggesting some of the key tag words that I use. <clears throat> and I, I think uh, what happened was uh, somewhere around December, um, uh, the video started getting picked up, and it was I had it on a playlist, and uh, I think another couple of YouTubers added my video to a playlist, like a favorite playlist. And I think some of you out there may have been sharing the video with friends. Uh, any of my videos, if you do that with any of my videos, I could I couldn't thank you enough. I please share all my videos with everyone you know, anyone you know, put it on Facebook, share my videos on uh, on Twitter, uh, anything you can do like that. Wow. Anyway. Um, this video started to go, uh, and I noticed it uh, every day. It, it was just getting more and more views, getting, getting like 25 a day, it's like one an hour. Then it was getting, uh, you know, 50 views a day, like two an hour. Then it went to four, seven, 12. Um, you know, it was starting to generate like a, like you know, 200 views a day uh, in, in like the 10th of December sort of thing, 15th, 12th. Uh, 300 views a day, 400 views a day. 500 views a day it became my number one channel it was, it was it was my number one video every day was it was generating more right now it's a thousand views a day this one channel how to top 10 tips for new cruisers is generating a thousand views a day and it's not meant for viewers cruisers who cruise you know 10 times a year it's for new cruisers that's how many new cruisers are out there and i'm i'm getting a thousand views a day off of this one video it's just incredible I'm so uh, so humbled by that. 
speaking of being humbled, I just have to say, Pat, thank you so much. Pat Reed just sent me five dollars. Uh, one of these green tabs just came across. I don't know, you see, you see that, folks? There it is. One of those green super chats. I'm showing this for the benefit of the audience that will watch this tonight or tomorrow. This is a super chat. And Pat Reed has just donated $5 to this poor charity right here. Thank you very much because I'm still demonetized. Anyway, this video, 1,000 views a day. Unreal. And I, I don't want to tinker with it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. Just let it do what it's doing and keep bringing me 1,000 views a day. If I could get 10 of these, if I could get 10 videos that did 1,000 views a day each, I could make a living. <laughs> But uh, we'll take what you get, and uh, and it's it's a real lesson in uh, learning how YouTube works, and it shows me. I mean, if if I needed a knock on the side of the head to wake up to the fact that there are a ton of people out there who are thinking of going on a cruise, and uh, a lot of people who've never been on a cruise ship that watch YouTube, their YouTube channel, and they go to YouTube for inspiration to learn about going on a cruise, and. I can't thank those folks enough to come by. I, I want all of you out there who, you know, if you know anyone that's thinking of going on a cruise or any of you who are newbies, by all means, watch what we're doing here. I'd love to have you on my channel because this live stream is the perfect vehicle, I think, for a new cruiser to come to because uh, the folks who are signing in right here on this channel right now are uh, most of them are cruisers they've, they've been on a number of cruises they love talking about the cruise ships like i do and uh, we love to compare notes about what's going on and if you have a question out there about going on a cruise and what it's like on a cruise or, or what you should pack or any uh, hints or tips or you've got questions just on logistics fire away that's what we're here for this live q a we're more than happy to help oh you can see my my picture changing now uh, i've got the shine over here on my on my face the sun broke through just as I was talking. <laughs> I don't know how long it'll last, maybe two minutes, but uh, it, all, it got awful sunny all of a sudden uh, here in Creston uh, for just a moment, but the clouds are thick and gray and menacing looking around us, but uh, we caught a tiny little break, and that's why my my uh, my uh, view has changed on, on this screen. <laughs> oh, it's coming back. It's coming back the other direction. Here we go. Uh, the sun is fading again. Anyway, it's just... it's winter what are you going to do uh on my channel by the way folks uh thank you uh for all of you who are who, who've been uh helping me out and supporting this channel uh who have found me and are just loyal to this uh, broadcast and to all my videos that i seem to be posting i welcome all your comments of course um <clears throat> I, I get uh, comments uh, every day on my videos and I, I try to get back to all of you as best i can uh yesterday excuse me I dropped a piece of paper here. Yesterday, uh, when I finished my broadcast, my Friday uh, evening broadcast, uh, I was at 1,209 subscribers. And uh, right now, we're at, uh, last I just looked a few minutes ago, 1,222. 1,222. 1,222 subscribers. Fantastic. Another 13 since last evening. Uh, so, you know, every, every little while, just another one, just another one. Just, they're coming. They're finding us. And, uh, uh, I know that some people are finding me because of you directly. Some of you out there are, are putting the word out, and I can't thank you enough. It's kind of happening through maybe osmosis, but I think it's happening also because that one video that's doing a 1,000 views a day, uh, people check it out. They watch uh, half of it, three-quarters of it, all of it, and then they kind of rummage around my channel. They kind of think, well, what else does he do? And then they realize... Oh wow! This guy is doing uh, live streams. I can see all these videos. These are there. Here's an hour and twenty minutes of uh, cruise ship talk every day. <laughs> so um, uh, they start to link in on those, and then they link into my other. And the next thing you know, they realize I got to subscribe to this guy. I can't watch his whole. Can't watch all of his channel, his videos in one day. It's it's impossible. I couldn't watch them all in a week. So uh, they they click into the subscription so they don't lose me, and they know how they can quickly find me when they come back to their YouTube channel. So if you're out there watching, and um, uh, you like what you see, uh, please subscribe to my channel. There should be a button here. There should be a button here, and there's a button. I, I'm not sure. I think it's here. There's a, a little bell icon. Looks like a little bell. If you click on that. Uh, even if you're already a subscriber, you click on that anyway, uh, you'll get notified every time I do a video uh, and do an upload. Uh, sometimes I do a little surprise, uh, little surprise cameos <laughs> just pop up and uh, say hi. So um, by all means, uh, um, subscribe if you can, if you'd like to. And, and if you want to give us uh, some thumbs ups today, we'll take those too. If, there, if you see the thumbs up signs just on the 
bottom down here. Uh, the more of those we get, the more traffic comes to the channel, and uh, we love getting those too. Thank you very much, everybody, for all your support and all your help. Uh, yeah, monetization, I just touched on a bit ago. Um, February the 20th, all uh, YouTube channels that made 1,000 subscribers, which we did, and had 4,000 hours of watch time, which we did way before, um, were now deemed to be monetizationable. That's not a word. However, uh, it was subject to a review by YouTube. We're still in review. Uh, zillions of us are still in review, waiting. And um, we don't know when the review process will be formally completed. I did read an article today that YouTube is apparently hiring 10,000 people, 10,000 to help um, um, stay on top of um, uh, like moderate channels and watch for bad behavior and that type of thing. They're showing the advertisers. They're not fooling around. Uh, the, the days of the Wild West on YouTube are quickly coming to an end or have already quickly come to an end. And uh, if you want to be uh, a YouTube creator, and post content on YouTube, uh, it should be acceptable content for all, really. Uh, and so the radical side of, uh, uh, you know, the, the hate speech and that type of thing and all the other nonsense that's been going on, they're trying to eradicate it off of YouTube to show the advertisers that if you advertise to the audience that these creators have, uh, these, are the, these are exactly the people you want to advertise to. In other words, that's what I'm trying to say. Without, trying to, without saying it very well. And um, I know that my channel has an exceptional group of, of viewers. Uh, the demographics tell me so. Uh, what I know about my subscribers and my viewers uh, is, is very good, very highly rated. I think uh, my viewers are coveted by advertisers. I'm just waiting for YouTube to get on with it and approve my channel for monetization. So in the meantime, at this moment in time, I am uh, not earning a living from YouTube from any advertising whatsoever. You probably haven't seen any ads on my videos now for 10, 12 days. Um, the only, there's only two forms of, of, of income I have at the moment. And it's really not income. It's really more of a uh, whatever I get, I get. Uh, the one is what we've seen already here on my screen here. It's Super Chat. Uh, super Chat I qualify for because I have a thousand subscribers. You have to have a thousand subscribers to have Super Chat. You can't have like, you know, 650. And I'm grateful for that. And so uh, on occasion, one of my viewers will will send me a donation through Super Chat. And I really appreciate it, folks. It's the only source of cash flow coming in. Uh, YouTube collects it on my behalf. And then they send me a portion. They get a portion. And they handle all the banking and logistics and all that. And so that's great. And thank you for that. Uh, I hope, hope that keeps coming. And then the, the other form of, of uh, revenue that comes to me, any kind of capital that comes to me, is through Patreon. Uh, I have a, I've had a Patreon page since October, I think, or September, uh, but I really haven't done much with it. It exists. It, it, it's, uh, it's live. Uh, and you can link to my Patreon site through my homepage. Um, where you see my Twitter connection and the Instagram thing that I have up there and so on. So if you click on page, if you want to make a monthly contribution to me, you can make a 10 cent a day uh, contribution to my cause by pledging $3 a month on my Patreon site. And I think about 90% of that comes to me. Only about 30 cents goes to Patreon to handle the whole thing. And so uh, I have a couple of people who've who've done that. I have a $3 uh, pledger and I have a uh, $10 uh, pledger because it's $3 or more. I, I only ask, I ask for whatever you want to give me. It's fine. <laughs> if you want to send me a hundred a month, go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, I'm counting on that. Um, so thank you for, for the uh, folks who are doing that. And um, my Patreon page, I will eventually upgrade it and make it more functional. But um, at the moment, everything I'm, everything I'm about and everything I'm working on is this channel right here. Everything you, you see, that's where all these uh, live streams are coming to you from. And um, any videos I make, it's all for YouTube to grow this channel. And uh, thank you for the growth. So enough of me talking about me. Uh, let's say hi to the folks. Uh, if you're new to this, you've never been here before. What was happening is my uh, viewers, my regulars here, they know the routine. They're, they're saying hi to me. They're telling me where they're located, and what their high temperature is today. And this way, everybody kind of knows where people are watching him from and uh, kind of what's the weather like. And uh, uh, we're coming in with, uh, with highs and hellos. And someone just sent me something. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> uh, Randy, Randy Lucas. Uh, oh, my goodness. Randy, what are you doing? Randy, thank you. Uh, Randy just sent me an orange bar. <laughs> so if you see that, 
Randy Lucas just sent me a $20 uh, super chat a donation. There it is. And he said, the tip jar is now open. <laughs> tip jar open for delivery. <laughs> Randy, thank you. You made my day. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that's the second time uh, someone has done that. I had a $20 uh, yesterday. I had a super chat yesterday for $20. And I got one here today. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I love that. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, that really helps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm saying hi to Donna McKinnon. Uh, Donna signed in first. How you doing, Donna? Hi, 49 Fahrenheit here in Beloit, Beloit, Beloit Wisconsin. She's in Wisconsin. And uh, 49, you're not getting that uh, nor'easter, are you? You're, you're not in that mess. Uh, we're seeing all about it uh, even here. Randy Lucas had already said to me, hi there, hi, 46 and rain here in Paradise, uh, California. Rain, rain, rain. You got to have it. Uh, don't make it go away. Get your fair share for sure, Randy. Pat Reed, hi, Bruce, 44 Sunny in Cherry Hill, uh, New Jersey. And that's surprising to me that you're 44 and sunny. That's great. Uh, uh, Pamela Jordan, hi, Bruce, and everyone sunny and 62 Fahrenheit here in Iba, South Carolina. And then, Pat, there's that uh, super chat donation of yours. Thank you very much. Um, Mar Marlenia, uh, Aaron Zeller, hi from Aurora, Colorado, high of 70 degrees today. Fantastic. 70. That's fantastic. Fantastic. It's still sh shining sunshine here, but uh, we're not 70. No, no, 35, maybe, maybe 35. Um, Sylvan is here. Sylvan Forest. Hi, Bruce. We're at 77 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade here in Delray Beach, Florida. Sunny, windy, and it feels coolish. And with the wind, it would feel a bit cooler, uh, but still pretty darn nice. Nice uh, nice going there, Sylvan. Welcome back, sir. Uh, Dylan LaRue is here. Bruce, I'm back. Dylan, are you back from your cruise? Yeah, didn't you just have your cruise? You got to tell us about this. And Randy Lucas, uh, your message, just through, your, your super chat is, is right on the screen. I love it. Thank you so much. Rebecca Ald is uh, saying hi. She's driving, so she's listening to me in the car. Uh, probably through some kind of link, maybe podcast. Like I'm not sure how it happens. It's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle to me. I'm actually simulcasting this chat right now on Twitter, I think. And so anybody on Twitter who's watching, uh, hi there. Uh, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel called Traveling with Bruce. And if you want to watch me there, by all means. And if you get the chance, uh, uh, come on over to my YouTube channel and uh, check out my videos and my playlists. And uh, uh, I do these live streams Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays, Thursdays. I throw in an 8 o'clock uh, Eastern time show in the evening. And then I do one every Saturday, like right now, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so welcome, Twitterers, the Twitterverse. <laughs> uh, Sebastian um, Dubos, Dubos Clard is here. Hi from France. Not, uh, no idea what the temperature is here. <laughs> You can tell me in Celsius if you know. I'll convert it. It's no problem. Hi, welcome, and thank you. I believe, Sebastian, you've been sending me messages and tweets. I think I've been getting them from you, and I just want to say hi to you as well. Thank you for talking to me and communicating with me. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, the viewers are just everywhere. I haven't heard anything from my UK viewers lately. Um, they're a bit busy right now. Uh, those of you who know, uh, I've been talking about the beast from the east. This weather system off of uh, off of uh, Siberia came over uh, northern Europe and hit the UK, hit Ireland, and is now wreaking havoc in parts of uh, of Europe itself. Uh, and I heard uh, read today or heard something today that the military, the UK military, is out. Uh, emergency services, emergency forces, to get hospital workers to work, to keep hospitals open, to help people get to hospitals if they need to. Um, there, it's a mess. I mean, it's just a royal mess. Of course, you know, Britain is not used to uh, really bad Siberian type weather. I mean, it's just, it's just not the Gulf Stream is usually keeping Britain in that 40 degree kind of range through the winter. Uh, but this, at this moment, the systems are all unaligned and that's why probably the East, uh, the Northeast U S is getting its weather system all screwed up and, uh, nuts and uh, I guess happening in Britain too. So what are you going to do? Uh, yes, it's me, she says. Uh, Sebastian says, yes, it's me. Yes, <laughs> you're the one. Uh, definitely it's you. That We've been con conversing, and you've been sending me messages, and I thank you very much for that. I enjoy it. Uh, today, uh, I had um, a thought of, of uh, mentioning to you. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> Sebastian, say just one more thing. I found you because of the crazy boxing family in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the uh, the reports that we were doing and the, the, what we were following with the uh, carnival legend with the 23 member family uh, just duking it out with everybody they could find. Oh my gosh, what a mess that is. 
Uh, I still haven't heard any charges, no police charges yet. I think the investigation is continuing. Uh, but I did read a couple of days ago uh, the story that was about a week before in Australia where uh, there was a booze cruise going out of uh, Sydney. Uh, it was, I think, on P&O Cruise Line, which is a carnival uh, of, uh, cruise line. Um, and there was a there was a brawl uh, between eight people. Uh, one of them was a woman, and it had to do with... Uh, I think uh, a gentleman cutting in line in the women's uh, lineup for the public washroom. <laughs> the drink, the drink packages were the drinks were flowing and people had to go. And uh, one guy, I guess, had to go so bad that um, yeah, well, the, the, whoever you know didn't take kindly to that. And uh, a single passenger, a female passenger, took an empty wine bottle and uh, knocked over this guy's head, and the melee was on. And I guess eight people got kicked off. Now I've heard there have been charges laid against some of these folk, folks by the police because the boat the ship turned around, went back to the, the Sydney Harbor, and they uh, um, arrested them. They just got them off the ship onto a po police patrol boats, and onto shore they went, and they were immediately placed under arrest, charged, and now I'm told the charges, formal charges, have been laid. So we'll we'll see how this kind of turns out. But the big brawl. The rumble, uh, the rumble in the South Pacific jumble, jungle, jungle. Uh, we haven't heard charges yet. We'll have to see how that, you know, works its way out. Unbelievable. And I was thinking of uh, something else to mention. I wanted to say hi again to Sylvan Forrest. Sylvan, I was thinking of you this morning uh, because yesterday uh, on my show yesterday, I talked about the uh, difference between Costco travel services and vacationsco.com for finding a, a cruise, finding a pricing on a cruise. And I, uh, I was thinking of you because I was looking up this morning uh, uh, repositioning crews um, on uh, on uh, on uh, the internet, and I, I uh, had noticed there was a uh, notice today uh, that Carnival is offering up again the specials that they were offering up last year. Some of us, you will note, uh, some of you know that uh, they had a, a five offers. And depending on the class of room you have, you could pick up to five of them, but you could get maybe one or two or so, depending on you know the value of the room. Um, the um, the uh, the uh, carnival of uh, the um, Norwegian people are offering this special again. So this morning, I went on um, uh, vacationsco.com as I always do, and then I went over to the Norwegian actual Norwegian cruise line. And uh, first, I'm looking at vacationsco.com, and I'm finding, uh, you know, discount prices, as always. And I found this repositioning cruise on the, I think it's the Jade, uh, heading from, uh, I, think it's, um, I think it's Fort Lauderdale, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken going to, uh, going to uh, Southampton. And uh, then I looked at uh, the Norwegian uh, website, the actual corporate website, because vacations to go, I couldn't find the specials being offered because I think they're so fresh. They just came out with that vacations to go hasn't loaded them up yet. They're they're coming. So I went over to Norwegian's line uh, line website and I found the cruise, uh, and then I found the their pricing and I found the specials. And it depends on the room, uh, even uh, even the balcony uh, suites. Um, if you took the lowest price balcony that Norwegian is offering from their own website, you don't get any of the deals on those five deals even booking a balcony. Whereas if you booked a higher class balcony, and in this case, I think it's uh, maybe one or two floors higher towards the middle, it's about $400 more for the cost of the trip. Uh, then you can have two of the five specials. Surprise, surprise. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, for $400 more, it's like I'm buying those two specials. I mean, come on, you guys. And if you take the, uh, the, uh, the Haven suite, one of the Havens, then you get all five. Well, yeah, the Haven is $4,000. Uh, duh, you know, like no kidding. Uh, so I was kind of uh, you know, put off by that. And I went back to vacationstogo.com just to look at what they were quoting a balcony for. A balcony is cheaper on vacationstogo.com than it is on the Norwegian. Even the cheapest Norwegian balcony quote, it's still cheaper on vacationstogo.com. So I, I don't know what's going to happen. So maybe in the next 24 or 48 hours, this will sort itself out. And there'll be a little more consistency. But this is what happens with cruise pricing sometimes. Uh, cruise ships will, they'll do like a partial release of cabins on any kind of a special or a promotion or in certain timeframes. Uh, 
you know, the first, uh, if they know there's a cruise, like say they're going to do a cruise two years from now for the Caribbean for say a week, they're not going to open up all um, 5,000 or, you know, 4,000 or 2,000 rooms, let's say in one shot. They're not going to do that. They're going to open up a couple of hundred at a time. They'll open up, uh, you know, 30 inside rooms. They'll open up, uh, you know, 10, 15 ocean views. They'll open up maybe 50 to 100, 200 balcony suites, various floors, various rooms. Uh, and then they'll, they'll have the suites up there. And uh, travel agents will start typing in and looking for uh, accommodation for their passengers. And I can tell you that, uh, that uh, you can't just automatically say, oh, I only want this one cabin or no deal. Um, if you're going through vacationsgo.com or, or some of these sites, they're just not available. And that's what I'm kind of getting the, I was getting the handle on that from the uh, Costco website that, uh, that, uh, there's only select few available and you had to pick out of maybe five choices. And I have a feeling this is not so uncommon. And, uh, uh, as the months go by and we get closer to sale date, you know, like every two months, every three months. And as the rooms sell out as you know, they go from 150, 200 balcony suites down to maybe 75, they add another hundred and then they come back down to 70, 75, and then they add another hundred. And so this way there's always rooms available, but not a zillion. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, they can slowly fill in the ship, you know, bit by bit, by bit, by bit, but it's in the last 90 days. That's where it gets interesting because now you've got cancellations from people who booked a year ago, you know, grandma and grandpa are going to go on a cruise and grandpa had a stroke, can't go. So they've canceled their room. And by canceling so many days in advance, there's no penalty or there's only a 10% penalty or, you know, that type of thing. Um, but it, with 90 days to go, you've got to now come up with payment or 60 days to go. You've got to make full payment now. And as this crunch time comes, that's when cabins start opening up in various parts of the ship that haven't been available for a while. And now it's a kind of a, you know, a mini free for all in a way, but, uh, Cruise lines are experts at limiting the choices to keep them down and slight, and so that when people check out for uh, you know check out the deals, uh, they can't just uh, you know freewheel up and down the hallway and pick whatever room they want. It's not quite that simple. That's the that's the feeling I'm getting, and here we are now with uh, in the case of uh, Norwegian, this cruise is is soon to be departing. Uh, you know between now and the end of this month, uh, and now there's these five offers showing up. And they were last year available for three months. This year, only three or four weeks. That's interesting. Uh, now, they are offering this deal, the five packages. Uh, they're offering you know, any of these five deals uh, through Caribbean cruises and some Alaska cruises. But I think it's limited numbers of cabins available. Uh, but I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, if I booked this six months ago and I paid $850 for or you know, $950 for my cabin and I bought this and that, and now you're offering this stuff, shouldn't I qualify for that? And I'd be contacting my travel agent saying, hey, hey, what's the deal here? Do I qualify for this too? Because they're offering these deals. Uh, what's going on? So I, I don't know how this is going to go down. We'll have to we'll have to just see how this goes. But anyway, that'll be interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Randy Lukes is saying 27 days until the next cruise. Right on, Randy. Um, um, Michelle Lucas, uh, Randy's better. Uh, Randy's better. One half here <laughs> because you you spire uh, because you spire my man. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so Randy's better half here because you you inspire my man. Fantastic. Thank you for both of you joining me. Uh, Silman Forrest, I priced three different itineraries with Costco travel and vacations to go. Costco came up much higher every time. I'm still shopping. There you go, Silvan. What? Yeah, just like we so we were talking about yesterday, wasn't it? Um yeah, I uh, I was uh, surprised by that, by how much it was different, too. Debbie Emanuel's here. Yay, Randy. Hi, Bruce. Hi, everyone. Late start, but I made it. Welcome, Debbie, uh, to the to the group today. Welcome here. Uh, nice to have you back. And then Pat Reed is just saying, I just booked the Norwegian Cruise Bliss. Uh, I got four out of the five free at sea deals. I booked a balcony. I shopped around, but Norwegian had the best prices for my particular booking. Also, they're running a $1 deposit special. Yeah, that's right. They're doing that as well. Good work there, Pat. And uh, Debbie is saying, great research, Sylvan. Thanks for checking uh, because that's what you got to do. If you're, if you're serious about taking a cruise, you know, it's your money. It's your after-tax money, and uh, you might as well make it work for you. And, uh, you know, if they're offering deals, then you got to find them. And uh, you got to be adamant to get those deals. And if you're having trouble finding the deal yourself, if you can't find it through vacationstogo.com or 
you can't find it on the website through the cruise line or, or, or uh, Costco.com or whatever, you can always try to phone a physical human being, a uh, travel agent, and then see what they can do for you. And uh, they might be able to tell you some of the policies of the ship line. or They might be able to explain to you, oh, yeah, you know that special you heard about? Okay, here are the parameters. Uh, here's, here's the fine print on that deal. And then you'll, you'll get it from someone who's you know, in the industry or, or an industry specialist. Because uh, that's what a cruise, uh, a cruise travel agent should be for you. A, tra a, a travel agent, uh, a cruise ship travel agent that specializes in cruises, they should be uh, totally dedicated to the cause and up on all the fine print or at least able to get it. Uh, so if you were to call them and say, I just saw this thing come across the internet about these five deals uh, on Norwegian with a dollar deposit, uh, you know, I've been thinking of getting a cruise. Um, I'm open to a, an Alaska cruise or a, a repositioning cruise or, or a Caribbean cruise, whatever. Uh, can you tell me what the deal is, the limitations are? And they might even be able to, and they should actually be able to just send you an email and say, I'll, I'll send you the email with everything in there. You can just read it up yourself. I'll give you the highlights, but here are all the details for you to check out uh, and then go from there. That's how travel agents should earn your business. Just just me. Just, that's just me talking. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Um, uh, Sebastian is also saying from France. Uh, why in the U.S., if you take the beverage package, you have to pay 18100 fee, uh, and if you get in Europe, no fee for beverage pack is charged. Uh, uh, 18100 Okay, I think what Sebastian's asking here is the tip, the gratuity charge, uh, because it's an 18% gratuity added on to the uh, drink automatically. Now, as far as I uh, understand things, and those of you who can help me out uh, would appreciate it, if, I know if you buy a drink one at a time, like a la carte, you'll have an 18% tip charged on most cruise lines. It used to be 15%. Now I think it's 18%. It's just charged to the price of your drink, and it's just charged to your room account. Uh, and you can look at your room account anytime you want from within your room, if you wish, on your television screen. Uh, or you can always go to the front desk, uh, guest services, and they'll show you a, you know, a, a printout of your bill uh, as you go every day for all your room charges. Now, if you buy a drink package, um, you can buy a drink package before the cruise starts uh, on the internet uh, through your booking of your of your cruise, um, or when you're doing your pre-booking, you know, check-in procedures, emergency contacts, your passport number, your home address, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and or you can buy the drink package on board the ship when you when you walk on on embarkation day, um, and the the uh, you'll find probably uh, some staff members standing beside a little counter, a little table with a couple of brochures on it, uh, show, you know, a little signage talking about the drink package. And then they'll be there to explain it to you and, you know, what the limitations are and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Now, the, the, the tip part of, part of it, the tipping um, end of it, um, this is what I'm not sure of. Do you have to pay an 18% gratuity on top of the um, – drink package or is that built into the drink package i'd be curious to know that i know a number of my viewers have told me that they've had a drink package and they'll be uh, they'll be on their lounger by the pool and the uh, the um, the server will come by and want to know can i help you with anything would you like a drink and the passenger says yeah i have a drink package they show them their room card uh, they can either scan it on that little portable unit that they have right there with them, or they can scan it at the bar, and it tells them, yes, indeed, this person has a drink package. They'll order a, whatever beverage they want. The server will go to the bar, come back, and if they have the drink package, they won't charge the won't charge them for the drink. Obviously, they've already prepaid. But uh, the uh, the uh, savvy and smart traveler has a couple of one dollar bills with them, cash. And even though there may be a tip built into the deal, you're, you're handing your server in cash a dollar or two for a drink for yourself, perhaps for your partner. Um, and you're letting the server know, uh, this is the happy place, uh, the server is going to know, <laughs> I'm going to take good care of you because uh, uh, even though you have a drink package, you're tipping in cash. This is great. What else can I get for you? And uh, you may find that the second drink... Uh, may not be orderable for 45 minutes or half an hour or whatever the time limit is, but the server is back 25 minutes later going, you seem to be kind of low on your rum and Coke there, uh, uh, Sylvain. Would you like another uh, rum and Coke right now? <laughs> Even though it's 
a little early to get one, uh, they'll bend the rules and take good care of you. So I know that happens, but I'd be curious to know if any of you know whether or not there's an 18% charge on top of the um, off top of the drink package. Um, in in Europe, uh, everything is is included. It's it's inclusive in in for a lot of services are inclusive of the trip. But in Europe, to buy a one week cruise is is more expensive than in the states. So you've get you've already paid the tipping built into your fare. I think that's how this works. And uh, uh, I'm kind of curious about that. Karen is uh, Karen Lipson's here. Hi, Bruce from. Phoenix, warm here. How about you? Uh, Karen, we're at uh, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun just broke through as I was starting this broadcast. Uh, this side of my face was the same as this side. Not now. Now it's all shiny because the sun is pouring in here. Although we've got clouds all around us, I'm expecting the sun to disappear in a moment. But it, it's been going 20 minutes, so we'll, we'll take it. Uh, Pat Reed is uh, telling me uh, Norwegian is an 18% 18, uh, 18 on the drink package. <clears throat> and on individual drinks on the ship, they get eighteen percent either way. Okay, so so there you go. The uh, you know if you're paying you know a hundred dollars a day or whatever it is, eighteen um, percent of that already or portion thereof is already tip money. And uh, so if you're slipping them a dollar, you're making their day even more, uh, even happier, even better. Um, and they're they're delighted to look after you. Um, so there you go. Uh, today's topic that I uh, um, kind of wanted to go on today, and we're touching on some of this already because this is just how it goes with cruisers. Like you see the sun fading now, folks, because that shine is disappearing and the light over here is taking over. Sun is going behind the cloud. Eh, maybe it'll come back later. Anyway, today's topic is uh, how do you know if you're hooked on cruising? What what are the symptoms uh, that you're hooked on cruising? And uh, the first one that, uh, that, for me, that I know is, uh, and some of you are already mentioning it, uh, your life is consumed by the number of days between now and when your next cruise is. <laughs> so if I can talk to you, I meet you and I say, hey, how, how long until your next cruise? You're not going to tell me, oh, I, I'm booked in like uh, September. You're not telling me that. You're not telling me, oh, yeah, yeah five months from now, I, I'm booked in five months. No, you're not telling me that. No. You're telling me how many days, <laughs> 162 days until my next cruise. That's what you're telling me. I, I, that's, when, that's a sign you're addicted to cruising because your countdown, and if you're like really addicted, you're telling me how many hours, <laughs> 162 days, 18 hours, 42 minutes and 68 seconds. That's how long it is until my next cruise. I can't wait to go on my next cruise. That's an addiction, and that, that's what that means. And I'm kind of like that, uh, not on the hours, but on the days, I sure am. Uh, Dylan Rue is saying, so many things to say. Yes, I just got back from the Ruby Princess. Went to Cabo for Princess No More Life Jackets for Mustard Drill. Ah, see, you don't have to wear, you don't have to bring your mustard, your jackets down to the Mustard Drill anymore. Fantastic. Dylan, how was the food? <laughs> that's all we want, we want to know, right? We want to know how the food. Uh, and what kind of room were you in? inside ocean view balcony and how did you like it uh charlie bomb is saying hi to me hi bruce it's 41 days till my next cruise not that you're addicted not that yeah you, you know you gotta get your fix <laughs> fantastic charlie samantha farmer um, you're addicted when you live on a cruise uh, when you're living on a cruise full time yeah that's right uh dylan Roo said i did get the drink package i used the room credit to help pay for it the 18% goes on top of whatever the fee was for the base fare. There you go. Uh, it was right on top of there. Sylvan Forrest is saying, you know you are a cruise addict when just about every cruise line known to men emails you daily in three different email accounts. <laughs> Inboxes fill up quickly at that rate. Yes, you know you're a – they got you, man. They got – I got to have it. I got to have it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they know you got to have it. <laughs> Uh, fantastic yes there's most of these folks know what what i'm talking about uh, for you newbies out there who don't know uh, you go on that first cruise uh, chances are 99.9% .9 of you are going to be hooked on cruising it's it's over the land based resorts are done for uh, if you've taken a cruise and you've had a decent cruise you're you're not going back uh, yeah. <laughs> another one of these uh, another one of these signs for me uh, is uh, your entire body and your brain light up when it, you're getting close to embarkation day. Like we're, we're leaving the house in three days to go to the cruise ship. 
And it doesn't matter if you need two flights and you got to spend a, you got to rent a car, spend the night in a hotel, do your running around. Every second you're getting closer, you're just, you're just lighting up. You just, you're just, you're all pumped up because getting there is actually the fun. <laughs> Cause you know, when you get there, you're on that cruise ship. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it is good stuff. Uh, yep. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Dylan saying, love the food. I'm definitely hooked. I can't wait to go on my next cruise. I had an inside, never slept better. See, it, it gets dark in there. It's cooler in there. It's quiet, usually very quiet in there. And uh, you use that inside room as just a bedroom, a place to crash. And you got your bathroom there for your brushing your teeth and whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, the rest of your ship is your living room your rec room, your breakfast room, lunch and dinner room. It's where your pool's located. Uh, it's where your exercise facilities are, the workout room. You got the decks to walk around on the top or around the uh, around the uh, promenade deck. Fantastic, Dylan. It sounds like you're having a great time. You had a great time there. Pat Reed is saying, you, you know you are addicted when you watch reruns of Bruce's channel. Oh, boy, yeah, of course, you're hooked. <laughs> you can't help yourself, right? You just can't. <laughs> I watch reruns of myself. I, I do that. I go, what do they see in this guy? <laughs> I say to myself, oh, geez, you know, I should have done this. I should have done that. And I could be better. But yeah, you go with what you go. Um, <clears throat> Pamela, <clears throat> Pamela Jordan is saying, by hi, Pamela, uh, saying 287 days uh, till our next cruise. I know this because my husband, Charles Jordan, reminds me all the time, he's addicted, laugh out loud. It's not me, it's him. He's the one who's hooked. Your Honor, it was his fault. It wasn't me. He just dragged me along. He made me do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, 287 days. Not that anyone's counting. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, embarkation day. Isn't that the day of days? Uh, I tell you, uh, I don't care if you've gone on 10 or 20 cruises, uh, Embarkation day is a special day. I mean, you just you just you're just lit up. Um, I, I I find that I generally don't feel bad on embarkation day. I feel pretty good on embarkation day. I, I might be in a so-so hotel, uh, ten miles away from the from the port, uh, the pier itself. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> and I uh, I have a so-so cup of coffee in the uh, the lobby of the so-so hotel. I don't care. And uh, the breakfast is so and so. Uh, you know, uh, I don't care. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I've checked out of that room. I'm out of that room by uh, like nine thirty, ten o'clock. I'm ready to go. And uh, let's load the car up with those suitcases. Uh, did we pack our? Uh, did we go to Costco last night or Walmart last night? We packed our provisions in our suitcase. Everything's packed up. We got our we got our carry on one for each of us, perhaps so all ready to go. And. Uh, Let's get rid of this car or, uh, you know, and then take a shuttle bus to however we get to the ship. If you've got a really good car rental arrangement, you'll get a free ride to the ship, of course. Uh, or, you know, you, you had a car and you, you, you dumped it off with the hotel. There might be a rental agency right there. You drop it off there and now taking the hotel shuttle bus to this ship. You can't wait. You stand and wait for that bus to come. And, you know, it's just a rickety little old bus. You know, they're not like giant Greyhound buses. They're, they're like vans with extended things on the back to hold 20 passengers. You don't care. <laughs> Get on that thing. And what are you doing? You're, you're looking out the window. You're looking out the window. like Because, you know, the windows are only here, right, on, on, on vans. You know, our head. And you get closer to the port and you're, you see it. You, you get a glimpse of just a portion of this behemoth that you're about to go on. The resort, the floating resort. And the, the juices are flowing. And the, pump, the blood is pumping. It's just great. It's absolutely wonderful. And then you get out of that thing, you hand the driver the buck or two if you, you do that, grab your bags and uh, join mayhem. <laughs> We're all looking to get our bag to the sky cab guy, throw him a couple of singles and head up into the, uh, into the, and probably take the escalator upstairs to where the uh, check in terminal is, you know, and, uh, Yes, sir. Get me my uh, get me my room key. I'm ready. Oh man, what a feeling that day is! It just doesn't go away. It just gets better all the time. And if you've done it before, you know what's at the end of the deal. You know you get to go through that on that gangplank, and you might be going around and around, up and up and up. You don't care. And you can see the ship over here. And you can see the ship over there. And you just come with. You. 
is happy. Oh, happy because we're all starting this week long, whatever it is. Oh, fantastic. And then you step in. You step in on board that ship and uh, bingo, you're on the eighth level, 10th level, whatever level that is. Uh, there's the uh, members waiting for you. You get your hand under the Purell machine, get your hand all sanitized, and get a little brochure, welcome, whatever. And uh, maybe they have a welcome thing for you right inside. Who knows? And you're probably in the atrium. You're probably right near the atrium, and you see the atrium, and you go, wow. yeah, I'm here. I've made it. We're, we have landed. And uh, those of you who know, know what's coming. Those of you who've never been, you've just started a whole discovery. I mean, you've got, you got a week to discover this ship, and you're not going to discover it all. You think you are. You think you're pretty savvy. Yeah, you're not going to do it. You're going to see a lot of the ship, but you're not going to see everything because it's that big. 15 decks, 1,000 feet long. Each That's 15,000 feet. That's three miles uh, uh -huh. on one side of the ship, three miles on the other side of the ship. That's six miles of walking to see it all. And you haven't stopped yet to look at anything. Good good luck getting it all in. Good, good luck. You'll have a great old time. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Let's see out here what com comments are coming fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Lucas, we are cruise addicts. 27 days to our back to back to back Caribbean, east, west, and then stay on the ship for a transatlantic crossing. I mean, come on, you got that's that's how you do it. Now that's how you do it. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Uh, what ships are you on? Uh, are, is it all same line? Uh, or, or are you on uh, different, uh, uh, all three cruises on the same cruise line? Uh, what are the names of the ships? Uh, we'd love to know. Uh, fantastic, Randy. That's awesome stuff. Uh, Debbie Manuel, 119 days. <laughs> it's almost 118 and a half. I mean, if you run technical, it's really 118 and a half, not 119 anymore. Okay. Uh, until the next, and, we, and spend all time I can watching cruise videos. <laughs> Getting ready, getting ready. Oh, fantastic, Debbie. That's awesome stuff. Deanne, hi, everyone. 31 days until my next cruise. Not that we're being particularly specific, but it's 31 days until she's going on her next cruise. You know you're addicted when you're making plans for the second cruise of the year before you've left on the first. That's right. That's right. 31 days we're on this cruise. Okay, enough of that. Let's, let's just put that over here. Now, let's talk about the next cruise because... Uh, there's a lot of lot of other cruises out there. We should be taking a look at our next cruise. Because the worst thing is when you get off a cruise ship and you haven't booked another one yet. Because now it's an open-ended question. When are we going on a cruise? I feel naked. I have nothing to count down for. This is terrible. That's right. Depression can set in. You don't want to have that. Be bad. We don't want that. Fantastic. <laughs> Samantha Farmer, Randy, Lucas, you need to join us in going full-time. <laughs> Uh, Samantha's rounding everybody up. Let's do it. Let's live on a ship for the whole time and let's never go back. Come on, Sylvan Forrest. Uh, you are addicted if when on a cruise, you meet with the ship's future cruise consultant to plan the next one. Yeah, that's right. You're on a cruise and you see them over there and they got those models of those of some of their ships that they have and they have all the brochures hanging on the wall, you know, and big posters, beautiful pictures. And they're going, come on in. Come on in. Let's talk about cruise. Come on in. I have offers. We can make deals. What else are you doing? You're on a cruise ship. Come on over. Let's talk some more cruising. You betcha. You're addicted. Yes, you are. <laughs> Pat Reed is saying, uh, Randy, that sounds like an awesome trip. Yes, it does. Uh, Randy's saying all same ship, same cabin on the Regal Princess. So three back-to-back -back cruises, same ship. Two Caribbean cruises and then going across. Fantastic. Oh, that is awesome stuff. That's going to be a great, uh, great trip. Where are you ending up in Europe? What, where, uh, where do you end up? Are you heading to uh, Rome, Southampton, uh, Barcelona? Uh, where are you going? Uh, let, let us know. And then how are you getting back? You have to fly back eventually, I guess. Too bad. <laughs> but anyway, awesome stuff, man. That's fantastic. But now what happens when you do get off the ship in Europe? Have you got a cruise booked six months after that, or are you naked? How is you, How are you going to handle it? I mean, coming back, that's going to be depressing. We'll have to find out. Matt saying, hi, Bruce. For a minute, I forgot you were alive, and I, I could comment. I, I'm here. 
Matt, welcome. <laughs> man, oh man. Yep, sometimes people forget. So far, 17 thumbs ups, one thumbs down as usual. We are doing great. Thank you, folks, for giving me thumbs ups. If you want, if any of you want to give me one today, please do. Every thumb we get, I appreciate very much. Also want to say uh, hi to all you who've joined in lately and any of those who are watching who aren't saying anything. And thanks again to my super chats. I've had two today, a uh, $5 super chat and a $20 super chat. Whoa! Thank you for that. I'm still demonetized, and this is my only form of income, and I'll take any donations I can get. Thank you, folks. Um, let's take a look at another addiction, <laughs> uh, you know, a sign that you're addicted. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, uh, you uh, you look at a menu when you go to a restaurant, and you're disturbed to see prices on the menu. You find that offensive. <laughs> because when you're on a cruise ship, you're generally in a restaurant without prices on the menu, especially in the main dining room. If you're on a Hall in America cruise, uh, chances are if you go Hall in America, you're going to be in the main dining room. Five of them, I would think five, because that, that's how good that dining room is. Uh, there are no prices on the uh, on the uh, menu. Uh, the other thing you'll be used to, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be addicted to, and, and if you've been around cruisers who've cruised before, if you're going like, like two couples are going, uh, the other couple who've been around a while, uh, they're uh, they're looking at the menu in a different way than you are. You, you, you're looking at it all wrong. You got to watch what these folks are doing. You got friends here sitting there, and they're pointing at all kinds of entrees, and you're asking yourself, well, why are they doing that? Why are they? Why, why doesn't he look at his menu? And why doesn't she look at her menu? Why are they looking at a menu together? At everything. What what what's that all about? Well, well, let me tell you what that's all about. Uh, if you're on the right cruise line, uh, you kind of figured out that uh, you can order whatever you want. And um, you can kind of order more than one entree. And so you can do like split entrees uh, because the cruise line is there to make you happy. And, um, you know, you, you, you get the, you get, she, he gets a salad and, and, and she gets a salad. That's normal, right? And then, and then he likes prawns, but she doesn't care for prawns. So he gets prawns, and she gets her. It's all normal. There's nothing unusual about that. Uh, but then it's time, and uh, he's ordered uh, he's ordered a New York steak. Uh, she's ordered some uh, uh, some dish, and and then in the middle there's uh, there's a, a third dish, and that could be uh, anything. I mean, another main course, and they're splitting that between. How about them apples? And there's no price. And then it's dessert time. And uh, well, what's the dessert? Well, you get the dessert menu. And they're comparing notes on the dessert menu. And uh, next thing you know, they ordered three desserts because, you know, uh, he likes, she likes all that. But they kind of both want a little of that over there, too. Well, no problem. Here it is. That's what veterans of cruise lines are doing. That's an addiction. That shows you how addicted you are. Because when you go to a real world restaurant back on land, those awful furs behind all, all those selections, you look at the numbers and go, I can't afford that. <laughs> you want me to pay, you want me to pay eight dollars for a salad? Then you want me to pay seven dollars for some shrimp or the other way around. And then you're expecting me to pay twenty-four dollars for this entree. 28 for that entree and 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 26 for that entree. I kidding me. I, that's a fortune. Dessert? You want me to pay for every piece of cake? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Can't you just give me dessert price? <laughs> and so when you get home, another sign that you're addicted is when you do go out to a restaurant for the first time since you've been on a cruise, you're sitting there looking at the menu and you're in shock. <laughs> you're going, you see how much money this is? You're doing the math and you're going. This much, this much, we're, it's going to run us $150 to eat like we ate on the cruise ship every night. <laughs> what do you do then? Well, we'll split a salad. <laughs> I'll have the burger. I'll have the beef dip. <laughs> no dessert, thanks. We're okay. And you get out of there for like 38 bucks or $42. A tip. Whoa, what? 20% more on top of, oh, no. <laughs> You're addicted. You're addicted. Oh, man, you know you're addicted. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dylan LaRue saying, getting on the plane to fly back 
Can't wait to catch up. Cruising was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my whole life. Dylan, I'm looking forward to talking to you when you get home. You talk to me on Monday. We'll be, we'll be looking for more info from you, buddy. Have a good flight home. Be safe. Karen uh, Lipson saying planning. It's all about planning the meal. We are uh, <laughs> we're <laughs> guilty of this. <laughs> That's right. You're talking about us, Bruce, and saying you're talking about us. I am. I'm talking about you. Uh, I am. Randy Lucas is saying disembark in Copenhagen and fly back to Fort Lauderdale for two nights and then fly home. Fantastic trip, Randy. That's going to be awesome. Samantha Farmer, you can just order multiple entrees per person. You can, of course. Or you can scheme it. You can plan it out. You can figure it out. The extra, could you throw an extra lobster tail on with that steak, please? Uh, or could we have a little extra this? Or could we have another side of that? And Oh, yeah. Well, that's called planning it out and putting it together the right way. Uh, stuff you would never be able to do. And you would never do it in a regular restaurant because you're looking at those prices going, are you kidding me? For the amount of money this, this meal is going to cost us at this restaurant, that's like uh, two nights two nights on the cruise ship. Uh, you no, know, it's unaffordable. That's it to a cruise, man. You got to do it. Other addictions. Let's see what else we have here. Um, yeah, like here's one that, uh, that uh, uh, I have um, because, of my, because of my style of taking a cruise. Um, I'm sitting here at home thinking about a cruise that I'm going to go on. And I know whether when I'm on that cruise ship because generally that's how I roll. And uh, my my planning is something like, uh, you know what I'm looking forward to on day three or day four or whatever is uh, I'm looking forward to my morning walk. I'm going to have a walk in the morning around the ship. And then I'm going to have another walk in the afternoon. I'm going to have another walk in the evening. And I'm thinking about the fact that today I'm going to have at least three strolls all over that ship. Whether I'm walking the promenade deck or whether I'm walking up on the top where the, uh, where the pool deck is, looking down at the pool deck, walking around the back. I'm plotting in my mind already, oh, yeah, I'll be doing at least three walks a day. I don't do three walks a day when I'm at home. <laughs> I always have an excuse not to do a walk when I'm at home. Uh, well, you know, it's garbage day, and I'm just going to take the garbage out, and that's my little exercise for the day. I took the garbage out. Um, well, you know, we're going to go grocery shopping later, so, you know, I'll be pushing the carton, lifting the frozen pizzas into the carton, lifting the frozen pizzas out of the carton, putting them on the cookout stand, and then um, putting the bags in the cart, and uh, pushing the cart to the car, and... Uh, unloading the cart into the car and putting the cart where the cart's supposed to go. I mean, look at the workout I'm doing. I got three walks. Are you kidding me? I, I still got to drive home. I got to unpack all that stuff. Um, excuses after excuses not to take three walks a day where you live at home. We're on a cruise ship. You kind of look forward to it. You kind of go, yeah, I'm going to get up. And I have a morning walk after my breakfast in the afternoon after that buffet. You know, I'm going to walk off some of that buffet that I had today. And then, hey, yeah. Well, tonight after that meal, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need to walk around that promenade deck. Uh, that's gonna help me get a good night's sleep. Don't do that anywhere else. Just saying. Uh, and there's the other thing. Uh, oh, Karen is saying here. Princess used to have appetizer-sized pasta daily that we would split and, and try their pastas out. You're experimenting. You can't do that in a restaurant. Can Can I have Can I have like a sampler of your uh, and a sampler of this dish and Sample of this, this, like four of them, and, and just bring them here, put them between my husband and I, and we'll kind of that. We'll see what we like. Because tomorrow night, you know, we remember, oh, last night we had that, uh, you know, those different pasta dishes, and one of them was really good. We liked it. Could we each have, uh, could one of us have an order of that, and the other one have an order of this, and a couple of samplers over here and this other stuff? You're addicted. You're addicted to cruising. Um, there's another one that, uh, that uh, I liked. Uh, waking up every morning and uh, getting out of bed. And uh, if you're in a, you know this one, you know this one. Uh, you're, you're waking up in the morning and you just, you know, you know, and yet your partner's still asleep over here. You don't want to disturb, you know. 
friend that uh, you kind of walk over to the and you, you, you grab one part of the curtain here and the other part of the curtain here and you, and you peek your head through the curtain just to kind of look outside but the reality is it's so bright because you know it's daytime it's morning and your, your, your eyes are like this you just the light is so intense you just, you're trying to figure out where am I what's my view like today and as your eyes get used to it you're opening up and you're, you got the curtain on either side of your head here and you're looking around going oh we're in port we're in Cabo San Lucas and oh I can see the water and the beach and the resort oh there's a guy over there you know, getting a parachute ride behind a powerboat and Oh, there's somebody getting a, a ride in a two-seater glider type mini light, ultralight plane. And, oh, that's pretty cool. That's your view. And then you close it up. And then you could take care of some bodily functions. <laughs> and the next morning, you wake and you're doing the same thing. You get back, you get the curtain. And it's usually early because you find that you went to bed early and getting up early. It's supposed to be a holiday. This is a holiday. And you turn the curtain open, opening up the curtain, and you're looking outside and going, Oh, we're at sea, and, and you're seeing the ocean. For It's just land. There's no land anywhere. It's just water, water everywhere. And you can see some white caps in the distance, and you're looking around. Wow. And then you see something way, way over there. What's that way over there? Oh, that's a cruise ship going the same direction we are. We're, we're going with another cruise ship to where we're headed. Oh, is that ever cool? And then you close your curtain. And every morning, the same thing. And you open The, the, never the same view. You see what views like to make my morning coffee, and I uh, thing every day. Now it might might be snowing, it might be sunny, but the same. View every day. What? Not, not a cruise ship. Addicted. You're you're addicted to the change of scene in a cruise ship because you you just gotta have it. You just gotta have it. Uh, it's gotta be Sonic saying hi, Bruce. Hi, everyone. Hey. hey, tonight is an out going to called Me Blanche. What's called? It's too good today. Or I'm moving too much. There it is. Yeah, I haven't got very good looking picture there. Am I? I don't think I can do much about that if I, I don't think. Uh, latency issues or whatever that might be. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I wonder if it'll get the control room. Let me take a look here and see if I can make any adjustments to my uh, thing here. Live control room. Bruce, so you know, his cruise on your turned on. Uh, let's see what the folks can still see me and hear me. Uh, I think you can. And uh, average view duration and total hour time. Uh, the current frame rate's too high. Please say frame rates or less. Okay, let's see if I can change the frame rate. Stand by, people. See if I can make this work. Um, frame rate. Where am I going to find the frame rate? Let's go down here. I'm on here. Uh, it's there and uh, back up here. Let's take a look here. Highlight. Add insertion slates. Uh, broadcast alert. None. What? Where can we do this? Where can I do it? Uh, stream current byte rate. Low than recommended byte rate. Recommend you use a stream byte rate of twenty five thousand. Thank you for all these messages, uh, YouTube, but how do I make it work? Um, okay, okay. Let's see if this works, folks. Current views, playbacks, duration, total stream, chat, view. Uh, I, have, I have all these charts and all these wonderful uh, things, but I'm not being shown. What about resolution here? 23 stream, that's not it. Uh, camera angle, playback locations, location stream, filters. I can't find anywhere where I can adjust the picture. Is it any better yet, folks? Uh, let's see. 
connection was on my end. Band connection here too, Pat was saying. Uh, and what have we got? Maximum no reason I'm to connect to the stream. Uh, connect to the stream. Uh, send feedback. Watch on page. I'm still trying to figure out how to make adjust info and settings. Uh, don't know if I can do anything from this end. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Being the, the new YouTuber on going live, trying to figure out what the bit rate might be and or how I can do it. Uh, there's nothing there. Um, okay. Apply defaults. Cancel. Watch it. Advanced settings. Here we are here. Uh, let's take a look. Recording, finding all kinds of other links and whatnot. Um, not showing anything there. Um, yeah, I don't know where I can go to make this work any better for us, folks. That's my issue here. Um, love to know if you are still receiving me okay or not. Um, at the moment, here I am here. Uh, and over here, let me take a look at this uh, setting and this setting here. Hangouts on air. Uh, yeah, still not showing anything about any actions I can take or any changes I can make there. <sighs> Sorry to be so uh, slow about it. Um, trying to figure out the logistics. The logistics. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Back to here for a minute. Um, how is it saying? Uh, I, I'm not showing any new chats. Let me just double check. Uh, uh, Karen, yes, yes, better. Karen saying, getting better, not perfect, not, not, like normal. Debbie Man Manuel saying it's better. Jay Sonic, come on, YouTube, stop doing this. <laughs> Pat, read better. Uh, yes, better, but for a while it was phasing out again. It's better. Charlie is saying, uh, again, I, you know, I don't know how to adjust it. Um, it. It tells me you should adjust your bit rate. You should do this. You should do that. I'm going really. How do I do that? Uh, you tell me how to do that, and I'll. Uh, you know, if there's a button that tells me to do it, I'll do it. But I can't find a button that tells me. Anyway, yeah, you know you're addicted when you need to, when you are waking up every morning, looking at your curtain, and you need to see if the view has changed from yesterday. <laughs> you know when you know when you're not on a cruise, when you're looking at going, oh, yeah, it's the backyard, or it's the side yard, or it's my neighbor uh, raking his lawn. Uh, what a depressing scene this is. <laughs> what are you going to do? Now, uh, another one that you're addicted to cruising is, uh, uh, and if you've done this before, you don't, don't mind. You don't mind strangers in main dining room. Yeah, when you come to the front desk, uh, to, and you don't mind being a uh, table for eight, and you're you're the last folks already world at home. It would be no way you'd want to sit at a restaurant at some steakhouse, some table. We're on a cruise ship, sat down. With, guess what you're talking? You're talking cruising with other cruisers. <laughs> um, is this your first cruise? Have you ever cruised before? What do you think of this cruise you've had in the past? I mean, the discussions are on with everybody all the time. It's getting back. Again, there's. Oh, we're getting. Let's come over here again. And settings, base, slow mode. Oh, uh, my goodness. I don't know how to any other change. I wish I'm breaking up. Um, and now I've got a terrible little picture. Uh, so there I have it. Um, I can't handle this. Uh, what should I do? Um, looking at this, uh, these feeds. Uh, here we go. Primary stream, okay, and configuration but have different formats. You need streams that have the same frame rate. I sure would like to know how I can do do it. Uh, streams. I see we're saying here. I prefer being and it's YouTube addict version. Hey, hang on. Let's see what I see here. 
Uh, uh, working, still getting your chat tomorrow, Bruce. Rest for the wicked. Oh my gosh. Um, take a little drink there. Um, could could be his uh, internet connection. Oh, you never know. Everything seems to be working. Uh, I don't seem to have any problems with my uh, my other streams or what not. Um, I don't know. Um, you on watch page. Uh, let's do it. Here it is. Um, make sure people come up shortly. Yeah, it's still logs in here. Sort of a fuzzy looking picture, isn't it, folks? Uh, could be the internet connection, uh, just the way it is. Uh, 22 watching now, and very dedicated. 22 are watching this lousy screen. Um, now 21, we're slowly losing folks. Uh, I don't know how to how to work it. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to kill this. Uh, I'm going to kill this broadcast right in its feet. I'm going to turn right around and I'm going to log in on a brand new uh, chat to see if it just goes live instantly, and we'll see if I go live with a better picture. It might be the better way to go. So uh, I'm going to kill it here. And uh, if any of you want to check back with me in like a minute or two, just go to my page, and you may find that. Uh, that I'm uh, that I'm back on. I'm just going to do one quick look on a settings page. Uh, default, default, default voice. Yeah, I have no idea how to work any of these buttons. Uh, so yeah, okay. Here's what I'm going to kill it for now and try to come back. Okay, here we go.